The Beautiful Pain album is coming. The single is entitled, I Don't Think You Ever Love Me. The song is dedicated to my ex, even though I'm in a relationship with Zelly. I don't want that woman. But she gonna get this work. And the album is entitled Beautiful Pain. And it's an album that I didn't want to release. These are songs that I didn't want to sing. These are singles that I never wanted to sing. I'm the most positive person you could ever meet in your life. I got a lot of teeth in my mouth. Look at them. I love smiling. I love good vibrations. I love laughter. I don't want none of this smoke from a divorce. But guess what's going to happen? You're going to get this work. You don't have to like anything I'm saying. You may, oh, he's an alpha. He's toxic masculine. First of all, I'm masculine. Second of all, I'm an alpha male. Third of all, I got so much positivity floating in and around my life. I'm, I'm everything about my life is so blessed. You know how many people, you know how many people wish they had a driveway to look like this? Huh? You know how many people wish they had a driveway to look like this? Huh? You know how many people work hard to have this type of life and yet they in the car stressed out, depressed after working this hard to live this life? Do y'all understand what's going on out here? Man, listen, I am, I am so passionate about moving and functioning in the positivity and the vibrations of positivity. Listen, man, I got so many incredible people in my life. All we do is laugh. I mean, how blessed am I? I don't want y'all to confuse me posting about Samantha with me not being over her or me wanting her. I don't desire this woman at all. If I desired her, if I truly wanted to be back with this woman, even if Zelly didn't like it, I would say to Zelly, Zelly, I love you, but I'm not over this woman and I think I want to do whatever it takes to get back with this woman. And Zelly wouldn't like it, but it would be my truth. And I would not be wasting her time being in a brand new relationship where I can't get over and I'm constantly thinking about what I used to be in. You will never get me to not post about my song. Thinking that you singing about her, so you must not be over her. Uh, ask Sam if she's gotten a text message from me directly over the last two years. Ask Sam... Do I ever call her phone, text, FaceTime her? Even when she's with my daughter for a couple of weeks at a time, ask her if there's any level of communication going on with me and this woman. Tyrese Gibson new song blast his ex, Samantha, referring to the child support scandal that just concluded in court a few days ago. The song goes by the name Is Love Transactional. Well, you can tell by the name of the song. It seems like Tyrese is still sour about having to shell out a ton of cash to his ex in their bitter child support case. Evidence is in his new song, which takes direct aiming at the issue at hand. The singer and actor dropped track this week called Love Transactional, and it doesn't pull any punches in addressing the, what he views as a cold-hearted approach he feels he estranged wife Samantha Lee took earlier this year when she dragged him to court over child support and money. Like, we all know what happened between the two. During their case on the hearing about their child support case, Therese was ordered to pay Samantha and her attorney a whooping $636,000. Yeah, you heard it right, $636,000. For child support. This was after he refused to pay 10000 per month way back in August last year when he was ordered to do so by the Fulton County judge. This is why he was held in contempt in April when the court forced him to pay what was owed and then some. 
Now Tyrese had some more to say about all this in his new song. You, if you have never, if you haven't had a chance to listen to the song, make sure you go and check it out on his YouTube channel and take time to listen for yourself. You'll hear Tyrese laments being good for thousands in child support, accusing Samantha of asking for way much than she really needs to take care of their daughter, Soraya. He is too specific, talking hard figures and everything that did happen in the case. <clears throat> he also goes ahead to mention that their daughter wonders why they are still not together anymore and poses a rhetorical question was this love or a transaction well was it love or a transaction you tell me in the comment section although the girlfriend Samantha seemed to have not responded to the story but who we are yet to hear her side but I'm sure she will come up and give her side very soon, as she always does on her lives. The divorce between Therese and Samantha has been anything but amicable, and it's not over yet, as their case is still open and haven't finalized anything officially. Keeping in mind, Therese is already paying a fortune in child support from his other former marriages. A separate 10000 per month for his teenager daughter, Sheila this dude guys i feel so sorry for him like he is paying child support for shayla and now she he is forced to pay another child support for her daughter with samantha and adding the fine that he was given of 638,000 guys this is way too much for the bro what do you think about this whole story about tyrese do you think it was right for his for him to make a move and go ahead and release the song about this whole story. Is this showing how much he is hurt from the fine that he was given by the court of 638,000? Or what do you think is his intention behind releasing the new track that is strictly focusing on the child support issue that he's having with his ex-girlfriend, Samantha? Well, you go ahead and tell me in the comment section what you think about this whole story. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, <coughs> comment, and don't forget to subscribe on our channel. This is Five City News, your number one channel for the most entertaining news on your favorite celebrities. Stay tuned for the next one. Bye-bye.